So, I was right, I completely miscalculated how long I was recording for the last video. It was 40 minutes, it was almost 40 minutes of raw footage. I have no idea how much I'm gonna cut it down, I don't know what to cut down, because a lot because things happened. Interesting things, in my opinion. It may just be one 40 minute long video. I mean, that's not really the preferred way I want to play Mountain Blade Warband, but it happens sometimes. And I'll try to keep it short. Let's visit Cinderfall again, why don't we? Take a walk around the streets. Galloping horse. Hey guys. Hello guards. It's, uh, it's a nice day today, isn't it? With everyone in uh, in their thin clothes in the snow. Squire Holbrook. Good day, Elisha. What can I do for you? You have a job for me. I was looking for an able adventurer like you. There's a group of particularly troublesome bandits. They have infested the vicinity of our town and are preying on my caravans. Whoever messaged me on Skype needs to die. They, all, they have avoided all the soldiers and the militias up to now. If someone doesn't stop them soon, I'm going to be ruined. I'll pay you 80 day dollars down if you hunt down these troublesome bandits. It's dangerous work, but I believe that you're one for it. What do you say? Very well, I'll hunt down these bandits. You will? I'm so happy to hear that. Good luck to you. Leave. Let's see where they are. Ah, oh, it's a group of 30 crap. I was hoping they'd be smaller since I'm a lower level, but... Seems I miscalculated. Which means that first we go to the marketplace. And we sell our stuff. Sell one of the... No, I'll sell both fancy resorts. And then we'll sell th these armors to the merchant. We'll keep the white for clothing, though. And then we'll go to the goods merchant, and we'll sell the bread that we just got as a gift. For our job well done. We are not being mean. And I did, didn't mean to take a walk around the streets. I meant to visit the tavern. Because... Oh, wait. I already hired the mercenaries out of here. They were the Barclay Sappers, weren't they? Uh-oh. Well, the good news is that there's all cheap troops on the enemy's side, so... Let's see, uh... Part of my force is still wounded, though. Alright, let's, uh... Running from light... Lysha, oh. Alright, let's see what this... Let, let's see what this portends. They have bows. So let's uh, see what to go let's we'll see what happens. Surrender or die, all thirty of you. I mean, there's only eight of us, but surrender or die anyway. <laughs> oh dear. Archers over here, form ranks. Barclay sappers, use your siege crossbows. Slay them all. The good news is that any of these who have bows. Still will be markedly inferior, so... Oh, you're gonna pursue me! Is that it? Well, that's stupid. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! I just, I just rode blindly past them. That was a very stupid idea. Okay, the Barclay Sappers. I can see why they were running away now. And I have armor too, unless I get hit in the head, you know, I'm gonna survive most shots to me. Infantry charge! Charge with weck with weck with weckless abandon. Whoa! I missed. The sappers will keep you covered! Advance! Advance! My horse is battered, though. Oh, stabbed you in the head from horseback. Oh, I knocked you unconscious with my horse. Archers start advancing. Nice shot. Good shot, Jensen. I'm not sure if Barclay would be named Jansen. Shut up, he's named Jansen! I'm pretty sure that's a Scandinavian. Shut up, he's Jansen! Yeah, as a fun fact, the Barclayans are based kind of somewhat loosely up on, um... on, um, Spain. 
on uh, late medieval Spain. You know, they're aggressive. They're aggressive. Uh, they're aggressive conquerors, and they have fairly strong technology. All right, bandits captured. Bandit captured. Band it. <laughs> okay. Um, there's anything interesting down here? No. So we're just gonna get everything over 50 in value, which is still quite a bit. 55, 51, 50, 50, 50, 50, done. Oh, uh, that was 35. Oh well, that was one more anyway. Abandon the items in the pool, and our quest for Cinderfall is complete. Guildmaster, Guildmaster, good day, Lysha. I've heard about your deeds. You have given those bandits the punishment they deserved. You really are as good as they say. You. Uh, wait. Who says that? I, what? Here's your reward, 80 dinars. I'd like to give you the more, but those bandits almost brought me to bankruptcy. Now, what else may I do for you? So you only have 80 dinars to spare. You are, you are terrible at this job. Rusty silvered longsword. Let us get... Let us deposit all these items. All these items for the small pittance of money they're worth. You know, empty our inventory out into the uh, merchants again. Thank you for your business, all of you. Now let's, uh... Now let us continue our journey. Let's head back toward Rain. Now we've gotten a couple of quests under our belt. Um, as you can see, that was one of the generic quests, of course. One of the vanilla quests from Mountain Blade. Uh, Warband. Uh, but, you know, there are still new quests out there that we have yet to see. Particularly in the villages. So we shall uh, keep an eye out for those. Accent. Let's travel to Rain. I know it's the middle of the night, but well, it's not. It doesn't do us much good to be caught out in the middle of the uh, be caught out in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night. You never know when the Mist Mountains could prey upon you. Now, Lord Montawar got captured. He's in. He's in the dungeon of Rain right now. The fall ran again. Torvan. Cell sword. Yes, me lady. Greetings to you, madam. Oh, right. You all say the same thing. Then you better bring your purse. I got prisoners to sell. Bandit. For 37. I'll be staying here a few days. Let me know if you need my services. Okay. Pendor Militia. Ravenstern Footman. Ravenstern Skirmisher. Alright. Oop. What are people talking about in town? Ha! Yes, I did run across a story which you may find of value. Gives me the chills it does. Right up my spine. It's this piece of information from a mercenary calling himself Daynad of Tostar about about Mist Mountain Raiders. When he was looking for his swordmates, uh, it was yesterday after dark, he heard the sheriff talking to some manhunters and they were not happy. They said the raiders had been seen massing north of Talonkrag and the garrison there has been clamoring for reinforcements. When the blow falls, they'll land there, mark my words. Very good, thank you. That is your first rumor. That rumor implied that the Mist Mountain that a Mist Mountain army may eventually be invading Pendor. We shall see them. Have you heard of any rumors? Must pay. These are the rumors that are truly worthwhile, though, especially because you can get lucky and get some pretty valuable things. But this is not one of them. Ah, hello, Captain. I have a whisper of information for you. It's an intriguing story from a member of the local militia about Red Brotherhood. When he was enjoying the fresh air a few days ago, he found out that the Brotherhood are angling to get into the weapons trade. They already have the slave market tied up, mostly because it is distasteful. But weapons? That is a new direction for the boys in red, and if they know something we are unaware of, of, well, I would sleep light if I were you. Thank you, Torvan. Well, uh, I'll keep that under advisement. Why would they get weapons? It is a mystery. A true, true total mystery. Felon, fine Meltine army, army bow. There's some Meltine, Meltine? I don't know. I say Meltine, but I think it's Meltine. Large bag of bodkin arrows. Okay, thank you. Alright. Great sword, as opposed to what? Terrible sword? Alright. Now we shall travel to Poins... Poins... Poinsbrook. Poinsbrook. First, let's go to Walden. Let's see if they have a quest for us. They might. And I hope you're listening to the music, by the way. It does a lot to make the atmosphere of Prophecy of Pendor work. It really does. Alright, let's just, uh, go to the village center. 
We're gonna trot into town. No, we're not. It takes too long to trot. Gallop! Gallop! Paul. Villagers everywhere, villagers everywhere. And yet not a human sacrifice to make. What? Squire Lance. Good day to you, sir. Good day, madam, and welcome to Walden. I am the elder of this village. Do you have any tasks I can help you with? Ben has driven away our cattle. Our pastures are empty. If we had just a few heads of cattle, we could start to raise a herd again. I don't have time for this. Ask for help for someone else. Yeah, yes, madam, of course. I'm sorry if I bothered you with their troubles. Um, the... The cattle quest. Yeah. I'm not doing that most... I'm actually not doing that most because it's just expensive to do. You know, you have to buy the cattle yourself. The, um... The, um, thing, you know, the thing is that in Vanilla Mountain Blade, it was just terrible because, you know, you had to drive the cattle onward in front of you, and the cattle would just divert in all sorts of different directions, and it was really annoying. In most mods, the cattle usually follow you, though, and, uh, they would, in this, and they do in this one. I just, I don't have the money to spend on that particular quest, so we're gonna skip it, and we're going to travel now. Ishkoman has been besieged by Kairos Ducks of the Empire. And we're going to travel to Poinsbrook, Mist Mountain Hermits. Oh, they're running from me. Or, Mountain Hermits, whatever. He's running from Duke Aldemar's party now. Now he's running from me again. Oh, Mountain Hermits. Hermits. We're going to see some Mist Mountain Raiders for the first time. But first we see these bandits. Bandits. Bound, bound, blah, 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 blah. Bandits. Your luck has run out, wretch. Prepare to die. Brave words. Let's see you back him up with deeds, cur. Bandits like you never live long enough to learn. Because I kill you! Okay, let's get the infantry form up here, I think. And let's back the sappers up a little bit. Because the Mist Mountain Raiders are going to hit us first. Because they're on horseback. You may recall that description. Ah, oh, I hit him! Ah, ah, I hit him. I could even see him and I hit him. Oh yeah, that's the Mist Mountain Raider. As you can tell, as you can see, the Mist Mountain Raiders are basically just uh, slightly stronger um, bandits. They come with the horses, and they have they come a little more fully geared out, generally speaking, you know. But they're nothing impressive. When we see the actual mis true Mist Mountain Raiders, that's when we'll be impressed by them. No, not really. I just lied. I just lied my ass off. Not, not literally. That'd be gross. But metaphorically, I did. Ow! That was my organ. One of them, just one, just the one organ. Quickly, kill those bleeding men there. Nice job, everyone. Nice job. A victory. Is glorious. Not really. I'm just trying to make you feel better about yourselves, because really we're just a bunch of sad sacks. Hey, bread. I'll take that. Now we'll take these items. I'll take the linen, linen tuna too. And we'll abandon the rest. And we shall travel to Pointsbrook now that we've cleared the hills of the filth that is the Mist Mountain Barbarians. Mountain Hermits. Mist Mountain Warriors. Hmm. That's a tougher unit. That's a tougher unit. I'm not sure if I should get it though. Hmm. I should try to recover more men, really. Oh, I, let me get my character leveled up. More strength for a more power draw. But first, inventory management. We need more room in our inventory. Because we've been killing so much and getting so much loot, you know. We need to master our uh, inventory. Oh, ebony arming sword. This is a powerful one-ended weapon, if you can't tell. <laughs> it's also expensive. Anyway. Sadly, I won't be able to use- probably won't be using it in this playthrough unless I decide to change my rules up a bit. If I specifically use a Ravenstern sword or not. You know, because there's- because the thing is that there's some things I, I should probably just show you for the sake of the playthrough. Um, yeah, I won't be able to do that if I limit myself, but we'll see. We'll see. Bounty Hunter, Sigismund is still here. Kick you! Kick you! Kick you! Okay. What are people talking about in town? Can I get you, 
Ah, yes. I do know something of interest which would, which would, which would interest you. Gives me a chills it does. Right up my spine. Mm. Two days ago, I heard a piece of gossip from a wandering native dorm regarding y Jatu. A few days past the afternoon, when he was getting some fresh air, he said that he met a caravan master who had been raided as, by, the, by the Jatu. The merchant was astounded that boys as young as 12 are part of their army. Imagine making children into soldiers. Very good. Thank you. Anything else? Nah. Your information was most helpful. Hmm. Just looking for items to buy. Hmm. Arms. Actually, there are bench short composite bows. Short composite bow? This is my preferred weapon as Elisha, so I think I'll take that, actually. It's stronger. And it's, uh... It's, it's stronger, has better power draw requirements and everything, so... You know, let's take advantage of that. Let's take advantage of that little sail. Let's look at those mist mountains now. Let's see if let's see if they've run out of range. Oh, there they are. No, wait, those are those are White Wolf Clan warriors. Never mind. They have shamans, warriors, and raiders. Um, let's uh, let's uh, just uh, avoid them. Let's avoid them. Hey guys, what's up? Not doing anything here. Don't mind me. Okay, so to Elk Train with me. My uh, my character's hometown, village. You go to the village center. Ah, uh, nothing like the blank... Nothing like the bland maps beyond the borders of the village. They're kind of bland already as it is. Ah, there we are. The squire. Our abbot. Abbot Elkhorn. Good day, madam. Welcome to Elkhorn. I'm the vel vel of this village. The Velder. I'm the Velder of this village. Bandits again. No, no cattle quest, please. Sorry, but no. No, not that quest. Sorry. I think maybe it's time he left Ravenstern lands, though. As much as I enjoy the cold and the snow, well, can only take so much of it before your head starts to kind of explode. So we shall make one more westward journey out of through Ravenstern, and then we shall travel to the south. Towards Sarlian, the Fjordsvein, to the Sharm, and the Empire. They all are roughly to the south, south, so that's not inaccurate to say that. I've already talked to you. Uh, yes, for the record, if you um, if you ask for rumors from the same from the same traveler or um, uh, ransom broker twice, then they'll just tell you that they don't have anything new. So just just keep that in mind. You know, you'll start wasting if you. Talk to the same person in the same week. You know, every every seven in-game days, it, not every seven real, of course not real days. Every seven days, though, it resets, and you get to and you get some new rumors. The good news is though, there's like a dozen people between them. You know, so you know you can get lots of rumors. You know, each week. Bladesman, okay. No one in the tavern here, I'm afraid. Fine Barclay Noble Sword. I don't think I've ever seen this before. It is better than my current sword, but I should save the money for a Ravenstern longsword. It is my aim and goal, after all. So instead, let's continue our journey. Don't you know? Let's go to Cinderfall again. Because you know what I want to do? I want to go to the arena. Hello, we san. Hello, you see you new here. Gonna show your name. I am Lysha. Talk to me. If you want to join the fights? I want to join a melee fight. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. What I'm doing. Ow! He got under my shield. They don't have much. They don't have any shield skill. You chambered me. Ow! Alright. Next attack! Oh! Sir, you are about to be stabbed by a wooden sword. That sounded like an innuendo. You're unconscious. Now you, sir, with the other quarter staff are about to be unconsciously stabbed. Or something. I'm not just swinging. Oh, what? I swung over his head. Crap.
Knocked you out. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Let's see if we can get at least not at least one more guy knocked out. Not. Oh, I hit him. Oh, he chambered. He chambered me. I hate that. Uh, I was hoping to get to the next level at least of the pay, but oh well. Alright, so let us continue our journey to Ravenstone. Meanwhile, the merchant of Ravenstone is wondering if his brother's still alive. And I care not. Basic Saffron Gate. Village is all. All villages. What am I saying? I have no idea. Alright, I've covered a couple of people now. Oh, Mountain Hermits. Oh, they have three Miss Mountain Warriors among them. I feel like I should have better troops before I face them. Even though they're running from me with the Barclay Sappers boosting my, uh, my apparent strength, I can't really. Crevold. Farmer. Madam, you look like a leader of the sword and someone who could help us. Will you hear my plea? What's the matter, my good man? A band of brigands have taken refuge in our village. They take everything we have, forced to serve them and do much evil. If one of us so much as breathes a word of protest, they kill the poor soul in the spot right away. Our lives become unbearable. I risked my skin and ran away to find someone who can help us. Why don't you go to the lord of your village? He can take care of the vermin. I did, madam, but our lord's men did not let me see him and said he was occupied with more important matters and that we should deal with our own problem ourselves. Please, madam, you look like a lady of valor and a fearsome warrior. Have, you have no doubt many friends and soldiers at your service. If anyone else can help us, it's you. Very well. I'll help you. Where is this village? God bless you, madam. My village is Shastrum. It's not far from here. Nope, not talking to you. Crevold. I'm I already know your sort, Crevold. Have you heard any rumors of interest? My lady, keep your voice to a whisper if you value both of our lives. I was in the right place in the right time to hear a tidbit of interest. I am glad you are wary of who you talk to, and not all of who they seem. I was told recently of a, of a sordid tale from an adventurer calling himself Gaivan the Cunning concerning the Red Brotherhood. A handful of nights ago, he was looking for his friend. He saw the captain of Adventuring Company troop for into the tavern with an old gang of ruddy buddies and tow his prisoners. A harvester gang had tangled with the wrong company. Did his heart no end of good to watch the Brotherhood buy back its own. Ha ha ha. Very good, thank you. Yeah, not all the rumors are useful. That one, that, well, that one didn't disperse any particular information. It was just a fun anecdotal story. You know, essentially the Adventuring Company captured Red Brotherhood slavers, then sold them back to the Red Brotherhood. You know, so... Essentially, it's irony. Ravenstone Longsword. I shall take that. And I shall upgrade when I get better, uh, as I find better swords, so... Alright, let us deal with this trouble in Shastrum, and then I shall end the episode. Save. To Shastrum with us. 18 Mist Mountain Raiders. The populace is indifferent to you. Not long they won't be ish. Alright, everyone. Stand close. Stand close and hide behind this ridge until our enemies reveal themselves to us. There they are! And I am stuck on a fence. I am stuck on a fence. That was so stupid. Alright, alright, get ready. Stand by. Stand by, everyone. Because they're coming. Charge! Charge! Victory or death! Look at my face! And think about what you fight for! Really, just, just think about it. You're fighting for a woman. I know they say we're equals here in Pendor, but I don't believe it one bit. Man, those farmers getting them said knocked out. Oh, yeah! Ravenstern longsword power! Okay. Is there... Yes, he is! Shit. <laughs> Quickly! Kill him! Slay him! Slay him, farmers of Shastrum. Or, you know, get knocked down by a hammer. Victory! 
Okay. There we go. We only took we only took wounded. Good. Very good. We're in the battle of Wardia's song. You and your men drive the bandits out of the village, making it safe once more. The villagers have left little have little left in the way of wealth after Ordeal. They offer you all they can find. Refuse, saying they need more than you do. Because honor means a lot in this mod, especially when it comes to knights. We'll see more of that in the future. But we need to but we need honor. So we have to gain it and so we gain it by, you know, doing things that you know, by doing honorable things. Pretty much. Recruit volunteers now. Nah. Buy supplies. Eh, they have nothing interesting here. Nothing that won't rot or anything anyway, so. And we have saved the village of Shastrum from a from a rotting bandits. Now we'll upgrade that one unit. Uh, Leslie, we shall find your skills. We shall upgrade your strength. Oh, well, your potential is boundless. Boundless, I say. And I shall end the episode there. Thank you for watching, everyone. And I will see you when we continue our adventures as they spread out into the greater into greater Pendor. Till next time, everyone.